I mean, this is my first deal. I got kind of spoiled after my first deal. And so, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> here we go. My first client. All right. Take a swig. Um, let's go. Thank you for tuning into this video. Uh, okay, so I know I only got a few seconds to hook you in. My first client experience. I'm going to tell you all about it. But first, I just want to let you know that this is my first year in real estate. And it has posed some challenges, let me tell you. Uh, from somebody, um, from a lot of people ghosting. God, do I got to tell you about that. Um, and somebody, I thought that they were going to... Um, get this place with me and then they didn't before this i worked in daytime uh television and uh in talk shows on the food network probably the most famous talk show that i ever worked on was oprah's talk show and then the food shows that i worked on were with the actresses tia mori and valerie bertinelli so um now i'm doing real estate uh you can check out my other videos to see um, how I went from TV into real estate and why. But this video, I want to talk all about... Um, <laughs> here, I, I was like, I have to take a breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just so didn't want you to click off. That's all. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about my first client experience and the first couple of them. So uh, let me paint this picture for you. I have kind of been thinking about doing real estate because Ryan Serhant, that's where I now work, uh, he had these courses and I was like, you know what? I was kind of telling people, I'm like, I think I want to do real estate. I think I want to do real estate. Daytime television is falling apart. I want to do real estate. And um, when I say falling apart, let's just say there are barely any talk shows out there uh, and food shows, really, to be honest. And so, um, so I'm telling everyone this. And my friend, uh, one of my best friends, uh, you know, she told her sister. And her sister, uh, they all live on the West Coast. And her sister, they had some property here. Now, I actually live in New York. By the way, it is fall when I'm recording this. I mean, this is only just a little bit from when you're seeing it. It's hot. It is hot in New York right now. Um, and so, I mean, it's going to be 80 again? What? Anyhow. Um, so... So this place that they had, though, is in New Jersey. And uh, so I didn't have my license when I got asked to uh, sell the place. And, you know, working in television and working as a production manager is very much like uh, doing real estate. I mean, it's, I cannot tell you how much it parallels. Uh, it is, I mean, everything you have to do, all of the logistics, all of the planning, all of the you know, everything. And so I was kind of okay with it. So I went and I surveyed the place. Now, here's the thing. I live in Manhattan. This place is in a city called Cliffside Park. Uh, no, Palisade Park. <laughs> it's another reason why I thought it was Cliffside. Palisade Park, um, New Jersey. And uh, for me to get there, I have to take the bus through Port Authority. Have you ever been through Port Authority? It's glamorous, let me tell you. <laughs> um, you know, it was one of those where it was, <clears throat> I mean, of course you can take a car, uh, but that, I mean, truthfully, from where I live in Manhattan to there, it could have, a round trip, it could have been like $200. So I was like, you know, I'll just take the bus. I can do this. This is, you know. It, it, I, I like the, I mean, I actually love public transportation. It's just navigating through Port Authority that you have to go, ch -ch 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 -ch. and I got to tell you, I got so good at going through Port Authority. It was like, I mean, I, and to this day, I mean, if I have to go through Port Authority, I'm like, ch -ch 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 -ch. I navigate right through. I am, I, sometimes I forget that I was even <laughs> at Port Authority, honest to God. And, um, and so anyhow, um, so so I would take the bus up. I'd get off at my bus stop. <laughs> and by the way, I have, um, for, until I moved to New York, I always had a car. And so it, I won't lie, it still does sound kind of funny when I'm like taking the bus. Um, but I got off and I got to know the, um, the people at the coffee shop right there because a lot of times, because the bus was about an hour um, to get from where I am 
to to the location. And so uh, I usually had to go to the bathroom when I uh, landed. And so I would stop at this coffee shop. They all got to know me. They were also very nice. Like I, you know, would get a coffee drink and then usually a scone. And, um, and then I would walk over to the house. And uh, the house, you know, it was one of those, it had uh, not been, um, not used? No, that's not the word. Um, nobody was living in it. Um, nobody was living in it. And so I had to, um, and there was still some furniture and we um, had to get it going. So here I am outside. Now I was also, because I didn't have my license, I was also interviewing real estate agents uh, because I needed some help to figuring out like how to sell this. And in New York and New Jersey, you have to have your license to uh, sell the place. In some states, you can get a finder's fee, uh, but not here. And so I was interviewing people. Um, I landed with this um, person who is, I'm now on his team. Um, his name is Mark Trumpeter. Uh, he is, he just, out of everybody that we had met that and I had interviewed, he just was like, he was kind of, he took me under his wing. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, even before I even said that I was going to do real estate, like I could have just done this one gig and been one and done and then, you know, done whatever, but, um, but I didn't. Uh, and so, so, um, that's how I now work at Surhan, why I now work in real estate. Um, but, uh, I was there and, uh, some of the neighbors, so it was a townhouse and it's in suburbia. I mean, it's the suburbs. And one of the neighbors comes out and says, Oh, are you selling this place? And at first, to be honest, I didn't know, like working in show business, you can't always say what you're doing. Uh, cause some things are a secret now with the sale of a place. I don't think it's a secret, but, uh, I didn't know anyhow. Um, but I told him, I said, yes. And he was like, I've got somebody for you. I'm going to put you in touch. Well, sure enough, this person calls me back. We get in touch. She wants to buy it as is. As is. We didn't have to change anything because we were wondering, are we going to have to paint? Are we going to have to, you know, fix the windows? Are we going to put window treatment? You know, are we going to have to do something? Um, nope. She wanted it as is for a good price. And so, um, and cash. I mean, this is my first deal. I got kind of spoiled after my first deal. And so, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> haven't had a deal like that yet. Um, <laughs> I'm in my first year, right? Uh, so anyhow, so so yeah, and so but then Mark was like, "Dude, you gotta make sure you can't just trust her that she has the money. You gotta make sure." So I asked the person, the um, buyer, uh, if she had, uh, you know, could prove to me that she has the funds, and oh yes, she had the f funds. So um, so you know, all of that that you have to normally do when you sell a house, like you know, stage it put it on the MLS, do all of these things. I actually didn't have to do uh, because um, that was the one person and wham, bam, and that was how that all worked out. Um, now, it didn't go without any hitches. Um, you know, I mean, there was an inspection and uh, was there something wrong with the plate? You know, like, was this, you know, was this, uh, there were some things. Still, I don't know what I can actually tell and what I can't. Um, I mean, I don't, yeah. Uh, I'll get better at this, I promise. Um, <laughs> and so, anyhow, um, yeah, there were, she was concerned about something, so then I thought she was going to pull out, but... But then you don't really, um, but she already put her deposit down. Like, that's when I was like, well, you put a deposit down. I'm thinking this is all, you know, going very well. And, um, but then I think, I, you know, I mean, it's a big, it's a big purchase. And, uh, you know, people get cold feet. And so I was like, oh, God. But, um, you know, the big commission was going to come um, with the check once we sold the place. And... If you've watched my other videos by chance, you know that I am still adjusting to not having a paycheck um, every two weeks. Like, that's the hardest. Like, but, you know, it was a, it was a fun experience. Um, well, I mean, it was so fun that I, I decided to do real estate. Um, so, okay, so I wanted to also talk quickly about what I learned. Um, so, you know, there is communication is important. 
Um, that's all I know in life is communication. I communicate and communicate and communicate. Sometimes <laughs> I've been told they're like, wow, that's a lot of communication. I'm like, that's who I am. Like, you know, I, that's the only way I know how to do to do this. Um, you have to communicate a lot in show business. And so I just, and I'm transparent. I am not going to lie. I'm not going to BS you. I just, I don't, I don't have it in me. I, I don't think that you get anywhere by doing that. So, you know, um, let's see. What else did I learn? Um, just be yourself. Um, you know, if, if somebody doesn't, you know, I'm not going to force somebody to uh, hire me. Um, if you don't like working with me, or if you don't like me as a person, then you're not going to like working with me. And so, you know, that's okay. I'm not for everybody. Um, you know, that is what it is. Um, oh, and then I wanted to talk a little bit about, before I wrap it up, um, how this all shaped me. So I will say that having this first client um, really gave me the confidence that I could do this. Like, you know, like I was saying, like all of Ryan's courses and all of this, like they definitely made me feel like I could do this and that I can do a good job and I will. But being able to actually have one sale under my belt was the best. Like it just gave me that confidence and everyone was so um, complimentary of the uh, everything that I had done. Um, granted, you know, I was under the guidance, but no matter what I'm doing, even in this first year, like I have the guidance of people that do multi-million dollar deals, which I hope one day I do too. Um, and, uh, you know, and I do New York uh, because I live here, but I also do New Jersey because that's where my first clients were from, the Jers. So, and I like that because then I can do a little bit of bull. So, um, yeah. All right. Uh if you've watched the other two videos, what do you guys think of this video? Uh, <laughs> am I staying a little bit on target? Um, either way, I hope you're enjoying. Um, you know, drop me in the comments below if you have questions. I really, you know, will answer anything and everything. Uh, I'll do follow up videos if there's enough of the same questions or a follow up short or something, and make sure that you have that. Um, and you know, I also do like to promote um, the other part of this channel is that if you. <laughs> By chance, like 90s talk shows, <laughs> subscribe for that too. <laughs> I give you two things that you can subscribe to this channel for. Um, you know, so uh, that's how I first fell in love with uh, daytime. And uh, and so and that was the, glor the glory days. Ah, uh, the glory days. And so now I'm navigating a whole new world. We call it real estate. All right. Well, I thank you for watching. If you've stuck around all this time. You know what you got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And oh, please give it a like, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I got to tell you guys one time about how I used to, as a child, make everybody clap. Yeah, that's true. I used to make everyone clap. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.